Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. It's Mark the Messenger. We are back on our video. This one's going to be about seven signs you're dealing with an evil person that's sitting in your life, someone who is dealing with demonic spirits. Understand this, guys, that it's a spiritual warfare taking place every single day. So, and people are being sent. People, God sending people your way, saying to sending people uh, his, his way to your way in your life to steal, kill, and destroy. So always understand that, and have you got to be wise, have wisdom to discern these type of people. So let's get let's go. Number one is liars, dishonest, foul mouth, and they're deceitful. Okay, the Bible says in, in Psalm chapter fifty eight, verse three to four, it says that the wicked are strained from the womb. The evil people are strained from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay, that's exactly what they do. They speak lies. Okay, so that's a trait. If someone's like always willfully lying, okay, even the Bible says that the righteous, the the opposite of the evil person, they hate lying. Okay, so when someone's always lying, that is a red flag, especially if they're lying about the little things, you know, like, oh, um, you know, I made this so-and-so, you know, it's the basic little things in life, guys. If someone's lying about the little things, that's all red flags, okay? When someone's dishonest, okay, when someone has a foul mouth, they just can't, can't seem to tame that tongue. Now, the Bible does say no man can tame the tongue, but when it's every sentence, okay, when someone is deceitful, a deceiver, these are all signs of an evil person that you're dealing with, guys. And, you know, you got to have strength. Like I said, you got to also have to have wisdom to discern. Use the wisdom for yourself to see it. Is this person evil in my life? Because if they are evil, guys, you got to cut them off for your own sake. Um, and yeah, man, number two is soulless. They enjoy seeing you suffer. They have no remorse and they never apologize. One thing about an evil person, guys, they could do so much wickedness. They could do so much wrong and they won't apologize. Just like the Satan. All, all evil people, guys, they take on traits of Satan because Satan, the devil, is evil, okay? Satan, all the destruction he's causing on this earth now, you think he's going to apologize? God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. No way. <laughs> now, come on. Come on, guys. You really think Satan's going to tell God, please forgive me. I'm sorry for sending all countless millions of souls to hell. He's not going to do that. It's the same trait with evil people. Evil people will never apologize when they do you wrong, when they steal from you, when they lie to you, uh, when they cheat on you. Okay, even the Bible says that such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I have done no wrong. I have no, done no wickedness. That is evil. Okay, when you can't apologize, they have no remorse. They enjoy seeing you suffer. It makes them feel complete. Even the Bible says, guys, that the wicked, the evil, they can't even sleep at night unless they cause someone to fall. They can't even sleep at night. What a, what a worthless, pathetic life. Okay, so that's all signs of evil people, guys. They, they're soulless. Like they, they, they don't feel anything. They're like empty. They're empty vessels. So they, they enjoy seeing you suffer. They enjoy seeing your downfall. And you got to be very, very ca uh, cautious of these people, guys. They love to see you suffer. They might not show that they love to see them suffer, but that, behind closed doors, they're happy. They always want to be doing better than you. They always want to be doing better than you. If they don't, it's going to be a, it's going to cause a problem in that relationship. Or that friendship. Or it could be a family member too, unfortunately. Number three, guys, is God will warn you and also other people. God will use other people to warn you too as well. And, and with these signs. Okay, now, now this, I only have eight signs shown in this, in this video, but there's many signs, of course. Okay, so God can give you a sign through dreams. And also God can give you a sign, guys, when someone's giving you bad vibes, bad energy. These are all signs, guys. Bad, remember, people, there's a lot of people, the religious people, they say like, oh, Mark, vibes and energy. Uh, that's new age. No, guys. Bad vibes, bad energy, guys. That's demonic spirits. That causes those bad vibes, bad energy. Demonic spirits. Okay, so always understand that. That person, they're either being used willingly or unwillingly. Now, most of the time, guys, I get people that benefit the doubt. They don't know that they're being used. So I'll get people that benefit the doubt. But most of the time, guys, they are being used. So okay, always understand that. God will warn those bad vibes, bad, bad energy you're getting. You feel like you're drained, like your energy is being drained. Okay, uh, consider, like, especially if you're trying to be like, you're trying to help them out. Okay, let's so say you should see that you want to help them win in life, but they just always dragging you down. They always bring you down, pulling you down, dra draining your energy. These are all signs, guys. These are all signs. Okay, number four would be they wear a mask, live a double life, and never sh never say who they are. They never tell you who they really are. You have to find out for yourself. And unfortunately, by the time you find out, you already got your heart broken. You already lost a whole bunch of money. Your energy is all the way drained. You know, you just at the bottom now. By the time you find out who they are, guys. You already drained. <laughs> they, already, they already got you. Always. Okay, so one thing I learned about evil people, guys, they, they have a double life with you. Let's say if you're like a more like a like a like a righteous person, right? They'll be nice and friendly and kind to you. But behind behind closed doors, when you're when you're out there, those those demons, those you know, those true those those horns, 
You know, those, those devil horns, they start to show. Okay, and what's done in the dark will always come to light. So they always be they always could expose themselves. Sometimes it might not be instantly, not might not be tomorrow or next week. Could be a month, could be years from now. Whenever you know you have you wake up to see, because God's always showing us. God doesn't want you to be around evil people, because he knows that evil people have an evil agenda. They have an evil motive why they're with you. So always understand that. Okay, so they live a double mind, they wear a mask. The minute the mask is taken off. Oh, that's gonna be a, it's gonna be sad, man. Once you see, like, dang, you are not who you said you are. It's gonna hurt you, bro. When when they take off that mask, guys, I'm, <laughs> it, I I remember back in the days, guys, looking back when when those demons, when that evil person takes off that mask, you're gonna be like, wow, you were faking it this whole time. Okay, they love to slander, they love to falsely accuse, they love to gaslight. I'm I'm gonna go in this video. Number five is they have a controlling spirit and will criticize you. When you don't fall for it. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, they have a controlling spirit and they will criticize you when you don't fall for their for their their lies, their deceit, their you know, controlling uh their controlling spirit. Okay, they want to control you, they want to have power over you. That's what an evil person does, guys. They want to be above you. Like I said earlier, they don't want to see you doing better than them. Okay, they never want to if they see you doing better than them, they're gonna be that crab in a bucket, try to pull you back down, try to pull you back down to their low demonic level. Okay, so always understand that when the controlling doesn't work, now they got to criticize you. Now they got to try to, you know, uh, uh, plant seeds of doubt, plant seeds of fear, uh, plant seeds of confusion. You know, just plant these demonic seeds in your mind, guys. You got to be wise because I've been telling you guys, man, all my videos, y'all got to be wise out here, man, because these evil people, they come to your life with an agenda. And like I said, you know, most times, guys, they're sent by their handler. They're sent by who's the handler? Satan. They're sent by the devil. Because let's say God has, you know, has a special plan in your life. He, has, he wants you to do something, right? Satan will always come to try to stop, to try to stop what God has for you. Just like Jesus. When Jesus was fasting for 40 days, 40 nights, and you know, he, and his, he, we all get weak. He was in the flesh. We all got weak, right? He, what, is, what does Satan do? He, here he comes trying to tempt him. If you bow down on me and, and worship me, I'll give you this entire world. I'll give you this kingdom. Um, he offered him a whole bunch of things, okay? So that's what happens in your life. The Bible, the Bible even says that the, the servant is not better than the master, okay? So understand this. Best believe if Satan came to Jesus, a man without sin, a man who was just trying to do, you know, do good, you know, live a righteous life. What makes you think he's not going to try to come in your life what, through, through a relationship, a uh, friendship? And like I said, it's unfortunate, but also could be like a family member too or a co-worker. He's going to try to find one hole who he could use, these weak vessels, organic portals. Okay, He's going to try to find someone who could, that, that vessel that's being used for dishonor, the video I made yesterday, being used for dishonor. To, to work through them to try to get to you because he's a coward. You got to use someone to get to you because he's weak. He's a coward. And most of the time, guys, that's why you got to pray for these, your enemies. You got to pray for these people because they don't even they don't even know they're, they're being used. They don't even know. Okay, number six is when the control, when the controlling spirit doesn't work, they ga they start to gaslight and they start to be manipulative. Yup, they start to gaslight. When, when the controlling don't work and the criticism doesn't work, then now they start to be manipulative. Now they start to gaslight. These are all satanic, demonic games they play, guys. Be wise. Understand that most people who are, not most people, but some people who come into your life, guys, are they're, they're being used to drain you of your energy, to make you just, to make you, when God wants you to level up in life, you climb the ladder, okay? They're going to be that person in your life that's going to just pull you back down. Just look what happened to uh, Judas and Jesus, okay? What did Judas do? Try to pull Jesus, when Jesus is about to level up, here comes Judas, being a snitch, being a fake, eh. <laughs> okay, all right, he, he was a snitch, okay, he's always gonna be, a, there's always gonna be a devil, and even Jesus called him a devil, there's always gonna be a devil, trying to pull you back down, bro, I'm telling y'all, you're gonna listen to me, man, you gotta be very weary of these evil people, you gotta be very cautious of the people who are sent by your life, and nowadays, God, I just ask people who sent you, I just be straight up with people these days, God, because I'm not trying to get drained, I'm not, I'm not, bro, I'm 29, bro, I'm not trying to, I've, been, I've already been drained multiple, by multiple people, by multiple spirits in the past, I ain't, I ain't letting that happen no more, guys, I ain't letting that happen no more, all right, so, I always understand, when, they, when the control doesn't work, then the gaslight, they start to gaslight, and they start to be manipulative, what is the gas, what's the, what's the main purpose of someone gaslighting you? It cause confusion, to get you to be confused. And anything that's causing you confusion, guys, is of evil. Anything that causes confusion is evil, guys. All right, number seven. They are surrounded by other evil people. Okay, there's a saying that you are the five people you surround yourself with. Some people might disagree, but in my life, my 29 years of living, that is very true. When I was not successful in life, guys, I was surrounded and hanging around other unsuccessful people. 
Now that I'm starting to be more successful, I notice more other successful people are gravitating towards me. Okay, it's the same thing with you being evil. Back, back, back then, guys, when I was, I wasn't evil, but I was doing things that weren't right towards God. The people who were around me were doing the same thing. Okay, now that I'm doing things more righteous, and you know, you know, try to be a good person. You no, know, try to be. The Bible does say no one's good. Now I'm trying to be like more like. You know, try to be the best version of myself. Okay, try to stay on this narrow path. Those people gravitate towards me. Okay, so evil people they gravitate towards other people. Even the Bible says that a man who's righteous is an abomination to the to the evil, and to the evil is an abomination to the righteous. Okay, so always understand that. Now, now evil people can also have you know people who are not evil around them. Okay, maybe because they're trying to drain them. So it's not always the case. But if you see evil people, one thing I notice they're always surrounded by other evil people, guys. I'm telling you guys, that's so true. That's one thing I noticed. Not all the time, they're not every single person in their life is evil. But most most of the time, majority of them, they are gonna be evil people. Okay. Number eight. Oh, this is crazy. A lot of people won't a lot of people won't really agree with this, but the Bible backs us up. Okay. It says they treat animals bad. I'll leave a verse right here. The Bible talks about how um the tender the, the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Okay, so evil people, they treat animals bad. Dogs, cats. Um, even, even when they try to do something nice, like a good deed is evil. Okay. Like, let's say they want to give them like, give your, give a dog or like a cat, like a bone or something or whatever. Right. They might like slap it or something like that. It, 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 they try to, even when they try to do good, it's wrong. Or the tender is in Proverbs chapter 12. I'll leave a verse right here. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10. Okay. They treat animals bad guys. So these are seven signs that someone in your life is evil. Someone in your life is sent or is, um, being used by demonic spirits guys. If you have already smashed the like button. And subscribe to the channel. Let's get let's go. So, quick summary: Number one is liars and dishonest, foul mouth and deceitful. Number two is soulless, enjoying you suffer. They have no remorse and never apologize. Number three is God will warn you, and other people will warn you too, with signs, dreams, bad vibes, and bad energy. Number four is they wear a mask, live a double life. They never say who they are. Controlling spirit. Uh, number five is controlling spirit and will criticize you when you don't fall for it. Number six is when the control doesn't work, they start to gaslight. And be manipulative. That's something you gotta watch out for, guys. Number seven is they are surrounded by other evil people. Number eight is they don't they treat animals bad. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, if you want to support me, my links are down below in the description. All right, peace, guys. God bless.